I am Sir Tap Tap. This is Zero North, Zero West. It launched with a photosensitive seizure warning, so please do be aware of that. I don't know what this is. Oh, this is the teleport. Okay, this will look familiar because we have played this exact part. Um, Dream Sim is a game that we played, gosh, years ago. Years ago. And um, it started in this little city here. And it was, uh, apparently Dream Sim ended up being the alpha version of this game. So how do I, how do I, how do I shot web? Um, I don't know how to get out of this. Oh, the, the stairs wiggle. So apparently, oh, thank God, there's a speed button. I, I forget if the speed button, oh, beautiful. I forget if the speed button was a thing in the original. But oh my gosh, you make a walking sim. It was not this, if it was fast. It was not this fast. This is this is great. So many walking sims. My biggest complaint about the whole genre. I even have an article complaining about this on searchapp.com. Uh, I think it's titled on pace and walking sims because I like to be all pretentious and stuff. Um, I love walking sims. I love walking around seeing all the cool stuff. But just because they're called walking sims, they don't need to be slow. Like I want to see all the cool stuff, especially since... Especially when replaying a walking sim, like I already played this part of uh, Dream Sim. I already played the, the, the you know Neon City portion. Now there is more to this. I don't know where it is, but um, this part we've kind of already seen. So I think I'm gonna start and I'm gonna restart here. But um, I definitely appreciate the speed up button. So escape does not do anything. Oh, I don't know what button that was. Let's go home. I think that was maybe space. Oh. Within each of us, there are three doors. The first door leads to meat sounds. So the meat corridor is this, oh. So this is, I believe the same area. Oh, no, never mind. It's the same house. Actually, no, not quite. It's a similar house in a totally different landscape, okay. This is what I live for. This is the these uh, I love walking sims like this recommend me good walking sims that I can see the bulk of the content in like 15 to at most 30 minutes ideally so I can do one video. Uh, I love stuff like this just take a quick peek around this game. Um, the original dream sim is free slash name your own price on itch.io. This one is 10 bucks but I got it as part of the uh, racial justice bundle which had so many games. Oh my god great call. I love I love bundles on itch.io. Um, People tend to, whenever there's some, you know, shitty major event, they, people tend to come together and be like, hey, let's make the world less shitty and let's, um, let's make a bundle and let's, uh, you know, then you can get a good bunch of games for cheap, you support a good cause. I don't believe the bundle is still on. Um, but yeah. This is by Color Dreams, by the way. I've played, obviously, at least one of their games before I played, um, Dream.Sim. That was god. I think that has to be like five years ago. It's funny to think of like years of YouTube and stuff. And a lot of people are surprised that yes, my channel's been around for about ten years now. Um, in fact, I've been re I've been playing an off fan game. And I I played the original off, two thousand twelve. You can do a lot of really cool stuff with shaders. So this kind of reminds me of the glass desert and um, the ambient sounds are good too. Um, Glass Desert in um, Slime Rancher. Do you see that? Like cities in the sky. Once you try to look at them, they're gone. Alright. So this this is as if this is your first walking sim. This is more. This is totally exploration based. As far as I'm aware, I think there's what button? What button was it? I pressed a thing and stuff came up, and I could leave. Oh, oh, it's right click. Okay. So go to the three. Eh? What's this? We are now in blade zone. Do not fall over in blade zone. You will be dead in a second. Blade zone. Blade zone is physically painful. I don't think. Right clicking is not doing that now. I still do not under- oh, what? 
I don't know what I'm pressing to make this happen, I swear. What's this? Oh! Oh, now we're back here. I was wondering what this was. Okay. Let's read a story! Once upon a time, there was a lot of cars. They stopped and went, and then the clouds went across the sky. Then there was a cube building. The workers worked all day to make the cube even more of a cube. They helicoptered. Color Fiction presents Cube World. Oh, one of those classic notebooks. You got an Instant Pot thing. It's not an Instant Pot, like a heater thermos thing. There's graffiti on the door. It tells a story. This is the intro, I guess. I should have shown this first, but I, I didn't. I mean, you, you gotta forgive me. Look at the menu that I'm working with, and it's like, what, what do I do? Get in the car. What's that? I think he's got the same kind of car I do. What a beautiful smitty. Gotta go fast. Oh, there's the lorry. No, that's not a lorry. Lorry's a truck, right? That's just one of those buses. I feel this is like LSD, the um, the PlayStation game. I wonder if that this that inspired this kind. Of, it's very much an LSD sort of FMV. A little bit less surreal, but there are definitely some like cityscape flyby things. I wonder if this was self-recorded. It looks like it. There's some crispiness at the edges there. I can see some stabilization going on there. I assume is what that is. I guess this was the inspiration for the game. It's, it's neat, but it's long. I think. <laughs> okay. Okay. There we go. So this is more like a starting point for the game. Okay. We're in a mysterious town. General store. We're in a spooky old west town, actually, but with neon lights. Laundromat. <laughs> there's, so, there's something so fake looking about this kind of like. There's just one road. This Old West kind of aesthetic. I always, I guess it's just because of like TV and stuff. I always associate with like the westerns and crap. Zero North, Zero West. That's what it, that's the game. That's the game, guys. I was supposed to pick this option first and I didn't. Apparently. Ooh, do you guys want some goo? Yeah, give me a large cup of goo. Well, the left click is move forward. Yeah, a lot of these games have set up so you, um, you can control using only the mouse. I don't need to pee. If I eat enough goo, maybe I'll need to, uh, you know, empty the goo receptor, but uh, for now. Yeah, I can see why that photosensitivity warning was a thing. Okay, so now it's got more like a story structure instead of just wandering around infinitely. Or maybe the story structure is just an excuse to wander around infinitely. Doors. Okay, whoa. Interesting. I was not expecting... I don't know what I was expecting. I was just expecting more, you know, dream sim, basically. Doors. The store. Ah! Yeah. I can definitely see why that warning was put in place, but hey. Warning was given. Um, we are now in desert. In the crystal zone. Okay. Um, crystal zone is pretty nice. So it looks like there's a lot more environments. I don't think they're all quite as detailed as the city was in Dream Sim. Though uh, Dream Sim definitely, the city from Dream Sim definitely got some visual upgrades as well, considering from the last time we played. Um, I don't remember when this came out. Let me pop up the, uh, oh yeah, here it is. Oh, my mouse is, oh, here we go. Um... Cross-country road trip, stranger in a mysterious town will you beckon its call and embark on a fantastical, multi-dimensional walkabout through space and time. Um, that's the game we're playing. Um, oh good, there's a screenshot button. Cool. And it's F12 like it would be in Steam, which is good. This is on Itch.io, by the way. Highly recommend Itch.io. I wanted to go here, by the way. This, this was the one that enticed me the most. I don't know if some of these are procedurally generated. Um, Oh, as opposed to 2018. 
And you know, while we're while we're at it here, let's take a look. Color fiction view, all guy color fiction. When did Dream Sim come out? Because I know I played that not right when it launched exactly, but around then probably. Yeah, 2005. Jeez. It's been a little bit. Oh, it's M. It's M for menu, I guess. Ah, yes, the 80s zone. Laser zone. Oh, I think there's supposed to be a door. I couldn't, in the, in the last zone, I couldn't find the door. Oh. This is a combination of the blade room and the laser room. This is what a city looks like. 0. 0.2 seconds into being nuked. It's not a, it's not a pretty sight. And you need to wear radiation goggles. I mean, your body will be evaporated, but it's it's still... It's so radioactive that your goggles, your eyes will need goggles after your death. It's it's, it's gonna be bad, that's that's all I'm saying. I'm sorry, my, my spacebar is squeaky today. I don't, I don't know why. I should get a new keyboard at some point. I'm just using the same DOS keyboard for like eight, nine years. It's a good one. It's a good one to have lasted this long, obviously. What's this door? Oh, that's all the way back to the menu. Okay, so we went... Wait, did we go here? Whoa. Super hex... Oh. Hi. <laughs> Hello there, um... My, my, um, wallpaper. Where is Ichio? Here we go. Uh... Launch that back up. I guess I should have expected one of those menus to close the thing. Good thing I've got that um, that Wallfield that Garfield graphic. I had that like two months ago for that Garfield game. Obviously, um, is this continue? Oh no, this is back to the random room, I guess. Oop, guys, we have exited the cube zone. So I think this just takes you to random areas. Actually, each one's probably set to a specific. Ooh, oh, it's like that. Um... Ooh, uh, uh, uh. ah, ah. I don't I don't like TV anymore guys. It's like that Fallout advertisement. With the dudes. I think that's a Fallout advertisement with the dudes on the um the forest is beautiful tonight. Um it's the two dudes, the skeletons in front of like the TV. And like the area's been nuke. There's the nuke. Oh, that's not a nuke. I for a brief second I thought like that was the body of the nuke, that was the tail fin, but no. It's just more glass desert. So, I'm not going to stay too long in any particular area. As you can see, the areas, they're not... What was, the, what was this thing again? Oh, this, this lets you select specifically which region you want to go to. Let's go to the very last one. Oh, this is the town. Free air! You know, they say nothing in life is free, but air is free. Unless you're in the ocean. Or in space. So in the, you know, infinitesimally small part of the universe where you're on Earth, air is free. So, it's good to know. Let's just leave. This town sucks. Let's just leave. By the way, my speed up button is not nearly as fast in here. It's probably only fast in, like, the bigger areas, I suppose. Pretty skies, though. Okay, there's not actually anything out here. Oh. M button. M button. Keep need to remember that. Cube! Sorry, there was a cube. I got excited. I like the music, by the way. It reminds me of... Whoa. Whoa. It reminds me a lot of Yumi Nikki, actually. This reminds me of the Geometry Zone. Yeah, there's something of a, um inspiration. Whoa. I managed to die in The Walking Sim. That's how good I am at video games. Heck yeah. Oh, the like loading question mark cutscenes are like playable, by the way. Ooh, whoa, uh, uh. that's when you vomit in VR and the VR vomits back. That's what just happened. This is VR puke. VR smoke. Don't. Oh, I have like compression artifact um, disco balls installed in my walls. How do I leave? 
Oh, I'm getting claustrophobic. Open, open the door. I gotta get out. I gotta get out. Oh, oh. I jumped out through my own window. Yeah, this is this is an altered version of Dream Sim. This is the 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 Dream Sim Tower. Imagine how much it must cost to have a a, a, a uh, you know a penthouse in this fancy place. Uxular. Oh, I mean maybe you get a, the prices prorated a little bit because you're probably gonna die because you're probably gonna like fall off the building. But um, yes, triangle. I paid specifically for that triangle to be there. Nobody. Nobody is allowed to touch that triangle. I will I will I will talk to the homeowners association and they will kill your family. It's it's what they do. It's just what they do. Alright, I'm just trying to get oh god. I need to like lube up my um, space bar. It's all it's way too squeaky today. I don't know what's problem is. Might have to pop the cap off and see what's going on in there. Oh god, oh god. I don't think there's anything up here. I was trying to get up to the top of the stairs, but I think they just they just end here, so whatever. Down to the street. Whoa. Oh, collars. Oh, collars. Oh. Oh. If you've ever dropped the colors, this is where they fall. Oh. Uh. Imagine this, but in VR, all of these colors burning straight into your brain meats. You'd, you'd die. You would probably die. These are definitely a lot of colors. So oh! Ooh. Okay. We're in the moist zone now. So I wonder how much of this is done with like procedural generation stuff. I do have some- ooh! Aesthetic. Let me take a little screenshot of that. Um, I definitely get some vibes of um, Strange Think stuff. Strange Think used a lot of. Oh, wait, if we fell off again. Strange Think. Oh, I like that place, though. That was a cool place. It was pretty small, though. Um, Strange Think used a lot of. made kind of walking sims with a lot of procedural generation stuff. As you can see, a lot of the same assets are used in some ways. Like, this is the. the this is our house again. But the world outside has, you know, atrophied into nothingness. There's some water, though. Some nice green stink water. It gives me a misty vibe. Mist is one of those games. I feel like I should play those sometime for the channel. They, um, the original Mist was really formative for me, but I never. What the fuck is that? This thing with legs. What? What is that? I'm gonna. I'm gonna greet it. I'm gonna make first contact with an alien species. Take me. Take me to your leader. Take me to your beans. Oh. Contact was refused due due to the pretty clouds too. Due to the um, the Geneva Convention, I'm not allowed to um, to interfere with other species. Space Geneva Convention. You know, planet Geneva. There's a little ghost flyer over there. Some kind of city here. Is that where it came from? Not sure that's where it came from. You know, I ordered too much food today. I, I do that every time that I order out. Like, I, I order for delivery. It just feels dumb to, like, order, like, just, like, you know, 10 bucks worth of food and deliver. And then, like, you know, delivery charge and tip on top of that. So I'm like, all right. You know, I'm hungry. I'll just get my whole meals for one day. And then, like, oh, God. I can't I can't eat that much in one sitting and it this has happened so many times and that just every time every time it's a surprise to me but uh oh well got a big old taco salad which would have been enough on its own and I got a calzone which I had like a little over a third of and I'm gonna have to reheat that and I'm so thanks to the whole COVID thing I'm so tired of leftovers I'm so tired of delivery leftovers that I hope I'll be able to eat it because, ugh, just reheated pizza in particular. I had too much pizza and I, I can't deal with it anymore. So this is a pretty cool one, pretty big, but um, let's just look at a couple more. Oh wait, no, I want to go, let's just go straight to the selection screen. Go to the bottom left. Oof. 
So if you play this game, let me know in the comments what your favorite tape is, I guess. If you find a really cool world, let everybody know in the comments. And uh, again, let me know... Ooh. Let me know what... Um, if there's other exploration games or walking sims, whatever you want to call them. Um, stuff like this that I might want to check out. Because I do love stuff like this. It's been too long since we checked out. It's just... Plain old some walking sims. I'm sure I did some last year, but I don't think I've done that in uh, a few months at this point. I like that when you quote unquote die, you, you just go to another random thing. Ooh! Green penthouse. Fancy. I guess just a greenhouse. I don't know why penthouse came out again. It's just kind of a greenhouse. Look at that natural light, though. It's a little farm. It's a laser farm! Doesn't seem to be much outside of the farm, though. I'm just gonna walk endlessly into the sunset. Wait, was that a thing? I'm just pressing my spacebar just to hear it squeak now. It's driving me nuts. I'm, I promise I will lube up my spacebar good and tight um, for the next video. Good and loose, I, I guess, but you, you know what I mean. Ooh. Oh, this reminds me of uh, Rememory. There was a puzzle area like this that I did not like. What the heck is that? It's a boost pad! Welcome to my Let's Play of um, Sonic Boom, everyone. Love those boost pads! Yeah! Rings! Um, um, um. Oh, God. Did that game ever become like $20? Because I was going to buy that game and play it like as a one-off meme stream when it became like super cheap. Yeah, this is zero north, zero west. This, um, if you need a kind of meditative, just chill thing to wander around in, that is definitely what this is. If you can't afford the full price, there is Dream Sim. There is the, um, the alpha version. You can kind of check out that. And there's a lot more stuff like this on Itch.io. Just, uh, check it out. It's great to get back into this kind of stuff. I wanted to do just kind of a... All right, one last area. This track, we've been here. That track really does remind me of Yumi Nikki. I'll play this one. I love that I somehow managed, completely on accident, to pick the Dream Sim one. And it was neat to see it again. Uh, I'm glad that we did that. Lovely little home. But, uh, yeah. This is Zero North, Zero West. More Walking Sims will be coming up on the channel. Birds! Um, more walking sims, more, um, I have a lot more off, um, or the one, the off fan game, I have a lot more episodes of that, I'm gonna have to be, I had to record other stuff just so I didn't drown you all in that game. Uh, I hope you are enjoying it, but just in case you're not, um, I always try to keep, you know, variety is kind of the whole point of my channel, right? So, I wanted to make sure I get a bunch of other stuff. Yes, drown in the volcano. Um, I wanted to make sure you keep a nice variety. And, uh, you know, I like to vary your visual diet. I don't, I don't like TVs in this world. It's like, it latches onto your face. I, uh, some VR games do stuff like that to you, by the way. Like, when, when there's crap on your face, I can't deal with it. Um, so. If you like this game, let me know in the comments. Leave a like and make sure to subscribe to see more videos. Um, click that little bell icon to make sure you get all of the latest updates because otherwise YouTube is pretty fishy with that stuff. I'm fascinated to see how well this video compresses because this is one of those games where that's going to be a problem. But I have pretty great hardware now and I record it pretty high quality so I don't think it'll be too bad of a deal but uh, I mean we'll see. So see you later. Alright gamers remember to like, subscribe, and smash that bell. Frog. What are you doing in my house? I, I, I would just get out.